because I can kill any conversation, no matter how happy, kill it dead instantly. All I have to do is kick someone, look them in the eye, and say, hey, I'm an archaeologist. <laughs> and that ends it right there. But this time, this one time, it's going to be different because I have the most amazing story to tell you. Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. We were on the dig. We expected to find things about three to 4,000 years old in this, in this site. We went through, we found the usual things, pots, pans, skulls with axes embedded in their heads. But then we found two things that we really weren't expecting to see. Firstly, we saw a life-size statue of Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, we found this. Yes, it's an iPhone. We figured this would be some kind of prank. So we took the iPhone and the statue to the lab to get it tested. In fact, five different labs. And they all came back saying exactly the same thing. These things are between three and 4,000 years old. I was baffled. I thought, that can't be right. I pressed the button, and suddenly, the phone came to life. I was very skeptical, especially when it said, battery 100%. I thought, iPhone 100% battery. I don't think so. <laughs> but the next two messages were quite different. The next thing was, there were two miserable looking horses shackled to a tree saying, the only world you network not available. Please top up at the nearest tavern or ironmongers. And the message after that had a date. It said, today was the, well, the date on the phone was the 1st of April, 1777 BC. BC? Yeah, I figured this must be genuine. And then, when I noticed that the phone battery had gone from 100 down to 60 in two minutes, I thought, this really is an old iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I didn't have much time left. I scrolled through frantically. I found a video. I pressed play. And suddenly, I was confronted by a pair of wide, wild staring eyes. She was a very pretty girl, but she seemed really scared. And she told a story. In fact, she told it so well, I won't tell it to her. I'll let, you, I'll let her tell it. <laughs> and you know not what this sorcery is, this evil piece of equipment. I look at it, it looks back at me. And when I point it at people, it captures their souls as I scroll around. Clearly the work of the devil. It was brought by him, that strange man over there. You see him next to his blue box that says police box. He talks gibberish. He says he's a time lord. He calls himself Doctor Who. We'll get the truth out of him soon. But I know what he really is. He's a spy. And I know why. He's been employed by the barbarians. For thousands of years, we fought with barbarians. And finally, they look to have the upper hand. For right now in our village, there were only women. All the men were killed off by a crazy mad king. <coughs> we expect the barbarians any moment. Can you hear them? Yes, they're here. The barbarians are here. And just as I expected, the first thing they've done is they freed that crazy doctor. And what he's done, he's run back into his blue box, and the box disappeared into nowhere. Damn, I've got to run for my life. I've got to run. I fell, and the gadget fell to the floor. Desperately, I pounded away at the gadget, hoping to stay alive before the barbarians killed me. Suddenly, some strange sound began to emit from the gadget. It sounded quite melodious to me. I thought it was quite fine. But the effect on the men around me was completely different. Every man within a 100 meter radius died instantly. They were holding their heads and they fell to, f f f fell to the ground in pain. All the other men that came to the raid turned the tail and ran as fast as they could, holding their heads and holding their ears and screaming, no, stop it, stop the noise. I didn't know what had happened, but when I looked around, I saw all the other women in our village were kneeling before me saying, All hail the Queen, you've saved us. I was baffled. I picked up the evil device. It looked okay to me. I saw a picture of a strange looking man child and a message across the bottom saying, Now playing Justin Bieber. <laughs> but I thought to myself, People, it is not I who have saved you, it is this Bieber God. It is for us now to erect a statue. We must worship this people God. We must. <laughs> and at that point, the, 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 the battery on the phone ran out. So I have uh, absolutely no idea what happened to those people. 
One thing I would like to do, guys, though, if any of you knows Doctor Who or meet him, tell him we had an idea. Thank you.